Hey everyone, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel, and today guys, I got a Bermuda Triangle set update. Well, more or less I actually just have the main grade 3 for Corals, the new Coral unit. And her name is Aurora Star Coral. And her skill's pretty nice, um, I've sort of haven't had a lot of news or anything to cover in card fight as of late. So I wanted to cover this card, being it's new, and a lot of people seem to like it. So, we're gonna go over her skill, give you my thoughts. Guys, be, be advised that I am not a Bermuda Triangle player in the slightest. I like to play Chocho, -cho, but I have to get that deck first. So, besides that, here's what I got for you. So, her Continuous Vanguard slash Rear Guard skill is if you have four more Coral cards in your soul, this unit gains 2k power. It's a pretty solid skill, making her an overall 13k unit, which... Bushiro seems to be doing a lot of as of late. Um, we had the written text 13k for um, Dimension Police. And being that this would be in a coral themed deck, I strongly would assume that the entire soul would have coral units in it. So you're guaranteed at least a 2k. Um, her, uh, her auto Vanguard seal is choose one card from hand and place it in soul. When this unit is placed on Vanguard or when a G unit stride or when a G unit with Coral in its original card game strides, you may pay the cost. If you pay, if you pay it, draw two cards, choose one of your Vanguards. During this turn, it gains the continuous Vanguard for every two cards in your soul. Your, your front row units all gain 5k. So, overall, this card is actually really good. Um, they're sticking with the trend it or Bushio is sticking with the trend when this unit's placed on Vanguard or a unit strides essentially, it activates X skill. Um, I feel like Bushiro is doing that so decks that were G based are actually getting better. But let's talk about its on stride slash ride skill. So you automatically put one coral unit from hand to soul. So that's already four. Your entire front row will have an auto 10k for the entire turn. Um, and I don't believe you can activate this skill twice a turn. Maybe you can actually. Because it says when this unit is placed. Oh no, or when a G unit with the coral on its friend strides. You play the boss. Honestly, I don't know if you can actually activate this twice. You might be able to. Because you, cause you placed it on Vanguard and then you stride. Hmm. Let me know again in the comments below if you guys actually know the answer to that. Because. I don't think it would happen, but hey. So your front row gets a 10k for every two. So every turn you're adding at least one, and I believe in Coral decks, a soul is something you play around with a lot, so you might be able to give your entire front row a total of like 15k to 20k a turn, if you have enough units in your soul. I do see this probably being the new main grade 3 for Coral based decks. Um, I really don't have too much to put on uh, insight onto this card just because I don't play it, but if you look at it from a subjective standpoint, it's an automatic 13k, and when it's on Vanguard skill, it will be at least a 23k, if not more, it physically actually has to be more, you have to have 4 cards, so yeah, it'd be a 23k base unit to start your first right as your first grade 3, which is really nice. Um, on stride, it would probably do an overall decent job at attacking and defending. Or attacking because it's a stride. Now honestly this unit is good and that's one reason why I wanted to cover it. If you guys would like to see more Bermuda Triangle stuff please let me know down in the comments below because I really don't know if I should continue to cover this set. I do have a theory video I'm working on for Cardfight Vanguard right now which will be coming out later this week or this weekend. So guys try, please try to stick with me on that. Um, overall, I like the art and the concept for this card. Um, I think, honestly, the wings is what I really like about this mermaid. It's a mermaid with wings, come on. But guys, I think I'm going to leave it off there. This was just a short card fight video I wanted to share with you guys. But guys, until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I will see you all later. Hey guys, Silver here. So, I wanted to make this little video at the end here to let you guys know that I am doing a, a giveaway currently right now. I'm actually doing two. Um, so I talked about it in a video that I posted yesterday, but I essentially have two copies of Fortnite Save the World. 
and I'd like to give those away to you guys. So I asked you guys' opinion on how I should give them away down in the comments below that video. And as of right now, I still haven't decided on yet. I have a few ideas of how I'm going to do it, either involving comments or through a website. But guys, in order for you guys to enter that giveaway or to have any say of how the giveaway should be done, you have to go check that video out. So guys, go click on my channel and click on that video. Let me know what you guys want to see for that. Or, you guys can click the link down in the description below. I hope you guys really did enjoy this, and I'm sorry that it took so long to get another Vanguard video out to you guys. I know that I prime a lot of you sub to watch my Vanguard slash trading card content, and I do plan on doing more of that. But, I want to try to keep this short, and I will talk more about anything else in the future, um, in a future update video. So, and also, one last thing before I go. Sorry guys. Um, for the Card Fight Vanguard booster packs I have, I have quite a few and I would like to give a good chunk of them away. I also have some Buddy Fight promo stuff I'd like to give away. How you guys decide how I give the first copy of Fortnite Save the World away is the same way I will be giving those other things away as well. So please, if you want Card Fight or computer games, leave a like, subscribe to keep up to date with my giveaways. And let me know how I should do it. Until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I will see you all later.